some of the smartest people I meet in this industry are the ones that work at in within the innovation units of insurance companies. That's for sure. First of all, they're they're no different than like me or any other like insure tech startup person because they're working in that unit for a reason. It's because they believe in this stuff and they know it. The problem I see with these innovation units sometimes, and this is just the innovator's dilemma. I don't know if you've ever read that book. They are well, way better positioned for that incremental innovation because it's it's less wrought with political risk internally for them personally, right? You know, beta test, pilot test with all these diff- pilot program with some of these data analytics companies, these you know alternative, you know, whatever it is, satellite imagery companies, things like that, where it will it will add immediate value to their to your business in an incremental way and pr- could like potentially actually uh, add tr- uh, transformative value to your your business over the long term, but it's less. Uh, it's less risky internally for, uh, for, for the individuals running those things. The disruptive innovation, the things that are, they're writing new products, they're creating new underwriting methodologies for these new risks. Uh, they're using or developing their own proprietary algorithms to better price or, or, or vet uh, the risk of an insured. Uh, those are the companies that are disruptive to them, potentially disruptive to them. Um, they're real. And it's going to be a long, long, long process before any of these gigantic insurance companies are ever really, truly disruptive. But it's going to happen. There are going to be winners and, and they will chip away at the glaciers until, until it gets done. 